Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today will be another uh, back to old school air guns video. So shooting this gun again, uh, after a long time not shooting it, over one year uh, not touching this gun. So let's get back to the Umarex Desert Eagle pellet gun. So this is the pellet gun. And maybe the screen is kind of, maybe well, it's kind of dark. So let me just grab a my favorite light. There you go, for, ha, there you go. So this is the Thru Night TN32. I like the thing for my camera light right here, okay? Just turn it to the third level so you can see the gun clearly right now. You see how cool this is? Nice light, right, with a diffuser. Now this, just a side note, the diffuser is from a head and shoulder shampoo kind of thing, so. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, let's continue. So basic, oops, okay. So basically this is the Desert Eagle. And um, I also have the KWC um, Airsoft version. Comparing the both, uh, when you grab it with your hand, the Airsoft version actually feels better. But the, the, the thing is both of them, is lacking in power and the essence of Desert Eagle, in my opinion. So, yeah, um, this one is full plastic, and you can see when the slide blows back, okay, it doesn't shows any uh, ejection port kind of thing. This is just a valve uh, mechanism right here. So, yeah, everything is, you see, it's not so realistic. And, um, yeah, when we push the slide uh, lock that is supposed to lock the slide back and you push it down and it opens up there goes the typical Umarex 8 shot magazine okay so this, this is the pellet magazine um, yes you can put the BBs the plastic uh, black one in for, for shooting BBs but it's not recommended because it's a uh, rifle barrel and the copper BBs will mess up your rifling so I strongly suggest shooting pellet with pellet guns even though if they say oh now you can shoot BBs and whatever uh, just stick to pellet guys if you are really in need of like oh I want to shoot BBs buy a gun that has smooth bore so that um, you will not even run into any risk of damaging the rifling the Beretta PX4 Storm is marketed as a BB and pellet shooting gun but um, after my own test shooting a lot of BB through that, I actually did screw up the rifling and the gun started to get very inaccurate. So yeah, just stick to stick to a pellet. The rail here is plastic and it's detachable. It's actually a, a, to be attached by the user uh, with two screws right here. Okay. Um, yeah, like a lot of people like rails and stuff on these things and they, they look tactical and stuff. But, you know, after shooting it for a while, I personally will prefer the gun more naked. <laughs> it actually looks better and more sexy when it's naked. So, um, yeah, basically it's just a flathead screwdriver just to screw it out. Anyway, so this one, uh, this is the, the CO2 cover, which you use the key that it came with but you can also use a screwdriver like I do okay oh okay so the seal on this thing is quite strong I actually tried to air this thing up for over three months before and uh, it still works fine um, yeah just just that uh, this thing got to be kind of tightened up when uh, it's you know from time to time uh, so yeah basically it's a very simple design uh, but this thing, it's marketed as the Desert Eagle. Why don't they make it more like metal, you know, steel or something like that? Something that makes you feel power when you hold the gun in hand. I don't know, but it just doesn't give me the the soul of a Desert Eagle. Um, in my opinion, Desert Eagle is more like a loud gun, uh, hard banging, uh, stuff like that. Not really... Like, you don't have to really care about accuracy when you talk about Desert Eagle. It's more like the power, the kick, you know, the heaviness and stuff like that. But this gun is not so heavy. Um, and it's not 
like it's powerful. It's more to the powerful side, but it's not really hard kicking. It doesn't give you that feeling with the um, with the vibe. Okay, so today we'll be testing this gun out and see how it does on target. So I'll be shooting some. Uh, soup cans as well as uh, target. So here we go. Umrex CO2, Pelgan oil. So after over one year not shooting the gun, let's see how the gun is doing. I am personally, in my memory, uh, I remember that this gun shoots quite hard. It's about like 450-ish FPS with a normal seven grain pellets or so. So it's kind of to the... Uh, Hard hitting side for these CO2 guns. Okay, so basically you screw in this little screw by hand a little bit and then start to use the screwdriver. Uh, I like to use the screwdriver because it's actually easier to to turn. There we go. Okay, there's a safety. And then you press this to open and drop out the mag. Okay, um, pellets that we're going to test today. It's one of my favorite pellets, Crossman Prem Premier Prime Pr Premier. Yeah. Okay, so this pellet is actually one of the cheapest um, and most accurate pellets for a lot of these CO2 guns. Um, okay, it's a new box of pellets. So let me take my sock try then out. Okay, so, okay, yeah, as you can see, it's new, 0.177 caliber. This is um, more to the heavy side, it's 7.9 grains, and it comes in a box of uh, 1,250 counts pellets, and it's, I forgot the price, but it's supposed to be the cheapest one on Premier Air. So basically, we just pluck the pellets in from the back and you know just keep plucking. So right now, I'll fill up a few magazines. This gun, uh, from my memory, shoots about four or five good mags and it's out of air. So basically, we just need four mags or so to test the gun out. Let's fire that together. So now I'll be plucking pellets in. And by the way, these are dome-shaped pellets. So they fit pretty snugly inside the mag, as I can see right now. Um, yeah, so they are kind of tight. Pretty nice. It should give you a uh, pretty good uh, groupings from what I can feel right now. So let's check it out. Okay, everyone, we are at the 25 feet range. Let's see if this distance can get a nice grouping with this gun, okay? First magazine. Bad actually, all eight shots went into the target, and I must say that it's kind of surprising. Um, after not shooting the gun for a long time, the gun still groups uh, quite well, and also the kick is very hard not hard, but it's snappy, and you can really feel the pop is much louder than a lot of um, air guns, such as the um, the other stuff, <laughs> like, like the um. Makarov and the uh, 1911 and stuff. This one is more to the loud side with the bang. Very nice. Our second mag all grouped in the same area. And it's uh, very nicely done. I must say that the grouping is quite impressive with only one little flyer right here. That may be my fault, not the gun's fault. Now let's uh, try some blue skanko pellets with um, tin can and soup can test. Now let's see if the thing can go in here and out the other side and also hit the cardboard at the back. We'll be using skanko type 2 blue arrow. Super high velocity pellet. 
Team number three, Skanko Type 2, high velocity pellet, 6.4 grains. No pellets went to the back, but yes, you can see um, the other side dented. So the blue blue arrow, the Skenko Type 2 blue arrow, is in the penetrating all the way through. And of course, with this can in the center, you can see the hole right here and exit cleanly on the other side. So it did penetrate this and also the can but it cannot go through all the way. Okay, let's do a little bit more destruction with normal pellets and maybe we will end. Back to crossman pellets, 7.9 grains for a little bit more power. That was quite impressive, 7.9 green pellets. It actually destroyed the surface, but not a lot. Oh, it did. Also killed the inside. It didn't penetrate all the way through though, lacking a bit of power there. It's still cool. I can see and feel the kick from the 7.9 green is actually bigger. The impact is bigger. Hey guys, so we're done with shooting and testing the gun out today after Long time not using it. I must say that it's still working very nicely as new. Mm -hmm, it's done. Okay. I am very satisfied with this gun today. Uh, the power is there. Okay. You cannot expect these guns to be like crazy powerful. But they are uh, indeed pretty impressive. This one, I have to say that it's lacking some kick from the recoil. From the KWC brand stuff, uh, they actually kick much better. The um, Even the Airsoft version does kick more. This one doesn't kick much, but the bang is loud. The, um, the pop, the pop, yeah, the pop is loud. Um, when you wrap the slide, it feels like a toy. It's way too light, but then the accuracy, as you can see, the grouping is pretty good. I have shot a mag of Blue Arrow Type 2 Skanko, Skanko Type 2 Blue Arrow 6.4 grains hyper velocity pellets uh, through these things and definitely you can see these little dents right here which is from those pellets. It actually did almost pass through this side, this thing and this. So. Yeah, you can still see the Skenko velocity, high velocity pellet inside here, the blue stuff. Yeah. So basically, you can really see the penetration with those pellets. Um, but using 7.9 grain pellets, um, it it does kick the whole thing harder, giving it more energy on impact, but less penetration. So yeah. Um, uh, like if you're into shooting tin cans and stuff, feel feel free to go and check some high velocity pellets out. But let me give you a, a tips here. Not all the high velocity pellets will fit these magazines. The orange one uh, is a little bit too long and it will stick out from here. So you need to buy the blue arrow from Skanko. Right now, maybe they're discontinued, but maybe you can still find them. Not sure, but there are stuff that is a little bit shorter and they are made for these pellet magazine. Anyway, so that's it for today and hope you like the video. Pretty happy going back to old school and with the air gun stuff. Quite interesting to shoot them again uh, once in a while and see the groupings. It's kind of fun, you know, like with me having so many guns in uh, the place here. After not shooting these things for over one year, picking them up again, it just feel like you've got a new present in the mailbox and uh, you have to, wow, new stuff. <laughs> it feels new and it's quite cool. Okay, so thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye! -bye.